सो गाइस वेलकम टू लीव्स एंड लंग्स सो यू नो दैट पेनामा डिजीज इज इन करंट अफेयर्स बिकॉज ऑफ द वाइड स्प्रेड डेमोलिशन ऑफ द पेनामा फील्ड्स एवरीवेयर अक्रॉस द पार्ट्स ऑफ साउथ इंडिया स्पेशली एट द टाइम वे एवरीवन इज अंडर लॉकडाउन दिस पेनामा डिजीज इज स्प्रेडिंग लाइक अ वाइल्ड फायर एंड दिस इज लाइक डीमोरलाइजिंग ऑल द पेनामा ग्रोवर्स इन एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ अराउंड सदर्न इंडिया so you know that uh, you should uh, need to know something about the symptoms and the management of the panama diseases also if you want to know how to control this diseases as a farmer then just please proceed with this video so first of all uh, like theoretically aspect point of view the first thing is the main causative agent for this diseases uh, fusarium oxysporum so fusarium oxysporum is a fungal species so it mainly comes from the uh, like it comes from the soil and um, you have to be very careful on choosing what type of soil you are like putting the plant on so since it is coming from soil then there is no like uh, a proper definitive control such as chemical controls so you need to do some uh, environmental clearance and also you should sanitize soil also like all the uh, like involvement uh, all the uh, management practices are like uh, managing the environment so we'll just go step by step the first thing is just remember the causative agent for panama disease is fusarium oxysporum it is a soil borne pathogen first thing you have to remember this if you write this you'll get like every one mark for every answers you write so symptoms so usually uh, when a plant gets older like about 5 months old the leaves will be like getting infected when the plant contain the fusarium oxysporum species so the the catch point here is just remember the symptoms starts to begin to appear at least by 5 months even though it is infected around 2 to 3 months you will get the symptoms progressing only at the time of 5 months so just be careful with this because all the symptoms is 5 months you can get infected around 2 to 3 months so this is the catch point here so how does this infection actually occurs so from the soil it spreads through the vascular system of the plant and especially along the uh, like lateral uh, petioles of the uh, plant it gets infested everywhere so usually you will see first a uh, faint yellow streaks of the petiole of the lowest and the lowermost leaves okay so it is like ascending infection that is happening from the soil and is spreading through the uh, stem and uh, like it is going up uh into the plant so uh, like all the like lateral part of the leaves will get uh, like infected just leaving the heart leaf alone remaining upright okay so like everything this is imagine this is the plant like all the side upper leaves are getting infected okay so only you'll see the heart leaves uh, like remaining in uh, like erect after the uh, infestation spread out through everywhere so uh, mainly like varying degrees of longitudinal splitting will cause at stoodle stems are often more observed so when you see at the stem you can see like like lot of number of splitting happening everywhere and uh, this results from or uh, due to the blocking of the vascular system so as i said since the uh, organism moves throughwards from the soil towards upwards the first main organ that is getting infected is the vascular system so if the vascular system is blocked then it finally results in the wilting of the plant so as i shown in the previous slide when you like go through the cross sectional layer of the uh, uh, plant you can see the infestation of around black key patches everywhere around the stem so uh, it produces a very pungent odor of a rotten fish and the fruits that is formed from these plants are also malformed and is not like palatable to eat so this is how the entire banana plant is being like demolished totally and uh, usually they ripe prematurely and they like they produce some irregularly produce fruits which is not of like sale value so this is the main symptoms you should just remember this the time period and what are the uh, symptoms and what are the color that is like happening and what is the uh, system that is being blocked and order of the uh, like the disease so just if you are able to remember these points these will give you some good marks in your exams so here this is the image so as i said the upright the heart leaves remains very good only the lateral part of the leaves are like getting damaged and huge yellow streaks are present everywhere so this is how the panama disease actually looks like so can you see here as i said there will be like longitudinal like like can you see it is like splitting at the longitudinal section 
so like this is due to the result of blockage of vascular ducts around the uh, pseudo stem and this is result in uh, like like collapsing of the entire plant can you see only the top layer remains very good so if you want to know about uh, the fungus it is a septate septate means it has a kind of a root anchoring uh, structures that is mainly present in the soil and this produce microconidia macroconidia and chlamydospores so if you want to know more about this just pause the video and just read through this this is mainly for your exam point of view this is not for any explanation sake when you just go through it you can easily remember this because if you've been asked upon the structure of the fungus that is present in the panama well disease this would come handy for you so just pause the video and just go through it and the the, the main crux of this video is how to control okay how to control this diseases so the first thing is crop rotation since it doesn't have a definitive controlling agent you should have to clear up the soil so first thing is you have to do some crop rotation works which involves paddy and sugar cane and this is like followed by banana two or three cycles or just you have to leave flood the field for six months so this is very very crucial in controlling this diseases so crop rotation by either using paddy or sugar cane once or twice followed by banana for two or three cycles okay so as simple just just remember crop rotation is very key to controlling the panama diseases and the second thing is you should follow the land for like suitable period of time or you should do some long rotation technique so long rotation technique is you should need to plant some other trees or some other crops instead of uh, banana continuously so this will allow the plant the soil to regain and soil to like like uh, nourish and get cleared of those oxysporum species and uh, in the in terms of endemic areas if you suspect this panama disease is spreading there you should able to like identify which plant should be planted here and which variety should be planted here so mostly you have to like choose uh, like highly resistant varieties such as pu and robusta and nendran so these are like uh, they, they prove a uh, like very high capacity for resistant uh, against these kinds of fungus so just do remember this use these kinds of varieties which are like against uh, the uh, fungus and avoid susceptible varieties though it may yield uh, like high amount of money but don't choose these kinds of varieties especially in case if you are suspect uh, the disease is spreading so you should don't go for rastali mundan Kar uh, karpuravalli or kadali or rasa kadali or panjanaran so these are the varieties that are highly susceptible for infection you have to avoid these plants at no cost to further stem the damage and uh, finally you should have to do some uh, good drainage especially during the wind season if you allow the uh, like flooding constant flooding to go through it then there is a high chances of probable infection spreading across the entire crop plant so the above methods are the proven methods but uh, in like in various research papers in and around google they have found like uh, a, a particular species called as pseudomonas fluorescence okay pseudomonas fluorescence so it is found to act as against a inhibiting agent for fusarium okay so pseudomonas fluorescence so this is one of the organic method this is one of the biological control method and also the one more chemical method is like given in and around various parts of research papers is that is if you are like able to apply 2% of carbon discipline plus agalol or aritin soil drench then you can able to like control the diseases to some certain extent so this is also one of the uh, like recent uh, innovation that is happening around the uh, control of panama diseases but this is not 100 percent sure so many farmers are struggling to control the diseases and they are like mainly depending upon their basic pattern that is like that is uh, like like uh, sanitary uh, techniques involving clearing up the soil and all those kinds of uh, normal techniques but this is like not proven yet maybe in the near future it might come handy for all the farmers so guys this is very very important topic for you just go through it very casually very easily just know the names alone because just knowing the names alone will get you some basic marks this is not a kind of research paper as i said this is only for those academic purposes so just go through it if you have any queries please do post your comments on the comment section so that i can clear up if any doubt pops out to you thank you guys for watching this and have an awesome day and a happy new year